Hey, what's happening? I'm Coach Ryan Bailey. Out here freezing my cojones off in the Viper Pit today, but I had to come out here to give you four tips to maximize muscle protein synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis is the process by which your body uses the amino acids from the protein you eat and converts it into muscle tissue. It's important for people trying to gain muscle mass, but also people trying to lose body fat because when you lose body fat, you wanna make sure you're maintaining the muscle that you already have, if not building a little bit more while in that calorie deficit. So this really applies to everyone that's training for body composition, all right? These are in order from most important to least important, but really they're all four kind of important things to consider um, if you truly want to maximize your response to food and exercise. So the first consideration is the total amount of protein you're having per day. Um, if you do nothing else correctly, eat, just make sure you get this much amount of protein per day and you'll be, it'll be a start, all right? The range is 28 grams of protein to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. Gee, Ryan, that's a big range. So for a 200 pound individual, that's between 160 to 300 grams of protein per day. Why that big of a range? Well, because it's a sliding scale. On the low end of the sliding scale, the one where the 200 pound guy is only eating 160 grams of protein per day, um, that is when you are in a calorie surplus. So you're eating a ton of food, you're eating a lot of carbs, you're eating a lot of fats, and the scale is climbing up every week. Um, that's an anabolic state for you. You don't require as much protein or as much fuel to, to maximize muscle protein synthesis when you're in an anabolic state, state when the scale's going up. Slide the scale to the other end of the range, 1.5 grams per pound of body weight, that is when you're in an aggressive calorie deficit. So the scale is dropping each and every week. You wanna make sure you have higher amounts of protein so that you can preserve the muscle mass you have. A calorie deficit is a catabolic state, so the body's gonna to wanna to favor protein breakdown, which is why you need more overall protein intake. For most people, however, a good safe bet is one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. The caveat to this is if you have high body fat levels, if you're over 25% body fat as a male or over 30% as a female, you wanna take this calculation based on your pounds of lean body mass instead of total pounds of body weight. So a 200 pounder that's 25% body fat is gonna have 150 pounds of lean mass, so you're gonna use 150 to make those multiplication uh, equations to figure out your total protein intake per day, all right? Second most important thing is the number of feedings per day. Research is very clear on this. You wanna have at least four protein-rich feedings per day. So the research looked at two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feedings per day, all with equal total protein intake for the day, and they found that four meals per day was the sweet spot for optimizing muscle protein synthesis. More feedings didn't necessarily mean more muscle protein synthesis, but fewer feedings absolutely did. So four is kind of the sweet spot of where you want to be. Now, there is some wiggle room here in terms of if you're a very large individual or you have a high total protein intake. So if your protein number is really high, you could get away with maybe going five, six, seven feedings just because, let's say your protein target is 415 grams a day, well, you're, you might struggle to get that in four feedings. You may need to split that out over six meals, okay? Um, there's some wiggle room there. Don't, there, there's no need to force six, seven, eight meals if you don't feel like it though. Four will act, optimize your protein synthetic response, all right? The next piece of this that's important, and it also ties in the second one, is the quality of protein. And I'm not talking about how is the protein raised or is it organic. When we talk about protein quality, we're talking about the amino acid content of the protein. Um, amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and there's one amino acid in particular, leucine, that has been shown to trigger the mTOR pathway, or the muscle protein synthesis pathway in the body. And the research demonstrates that with each of these feedings, you want at least three grams of leucine per feeding. So these four feedings don't mean much if you're under the what they call the leucine threshold for the meal. How do you know if it's three grams of leucine? Well, in animal proteins, that's gonna be that's gonna equate to around 27 to 30 grams of protein for most animal proteins, whether it's chicken, beef, doesn't matter. Um, where this really, where you really have to do your research, however, is if you are a vegan or a vegetarian and you stick with plant-based proteins. Plant-based proteins tend to be lower in leucine. So if you're using pea protein, for example, you might need 40, 50, 60 grams of protein in order to get the same three grams of leucine that you could get from 27 grams of chicken breast, for example. 27 grams of protein from chicken breast, for example. So you need to be mindful of it a little bit, but if you are not a vegan or vegetarian, that's gonna be typically around 27 to 30 grams of protein per feeding, four times per day, all 
All right, and then the final consideration that's important when we're talking about maximizing muscle protein synthesis is respecting the spacing between these four meals you're having in a day. So the old school bodybuilders used to eat their meals, then they would, in between meals, drink a protein shake or have some amino acids, and their goal was always to try to keep amino acid levels really, really high throughout the day. Well, research later came along and found that that wasn't optimal for muscle protein synthesis. The body responded better when there were peaks and then valleys in amino acid content in the bloodstream. So that refractory period between meals uh, that's shown to be optimal from a research standpoint is around three hours. Okay, so you wanna have three hours of spacing between your meals. Um, so that means even if you eat four meals in a day, but you only space them out an hour or two apart, you're not optimizing protein synthesis. So this does have some implications for some inter intermittent fasters, all right? Intermittent fasters that maybe you give yourself only an eight hour window per day per, to eat, that's fine, it's a tool in the toolbox, but you have to know that you're not optimizing muscle protein synthesis if you do that. Now, for some people, it may not matter. Myself, for example, I've been weight training my entire life. My goal is not necessarily to build as much muscle as possible anymore. I've got a fair amount of muscle, so um, intermittent fasting I will incorporate from time to time just because I'm not as concerned about maximizing protein synthesis. If, however, you're underweight or you want to gain a lot of muscle as part of your goal or you need to gain a lot of muscle for your sport, I would not recommend fasting strategies, um, at least not regularly, you know, once a month or whatever, that's totally fine. Um, but just some food for thought, all right? Food for thought. Make sure you eat food. Duh, I mean, kinda, it's kind of common sense, right? If you wanna maximize muscle, you kinda gotta eat periodically, right? Um, as opposed to not eat. So again, I'm not crapping on intermittent fasting. I use it for myself as well as some clients, but it's not going to optimize muscle protein synthesis, which should be a goal for most people, whether your goal is sports performance, gaining muscle, losing body fat. We will all benefit from having as much lean mass as possible um, that we can get in a natural state training hard. All right? I am Coach Ryan Family from the Viper Pit. If you like this video, please hit subscribe below. Get your protein in today. All right? See ya.